Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we are going to check can introduction to network protocols whereby we'll be having three questions. So let's go back and see. The topic is introduction to network protocols. Uh, it is on the reason of introduction to network protocols. So the reasoning 3.1.5. Uh, so basically, the course is managing network security as I promise you to provide you a series of questions and the answers that you will be providing in your exam of Coursera. So, uh, so let's con continue by resuming assignment. So remember this, we are now in era of using a different way to gain the answers whereby we are going to just copy and paste through ChatGPT just to see the answer without like thinking a lot. So let's just copy, <coughs> sorry, and paste the question just to see the answer. This guy we should be working uh, just without checking because the question is easy and everyone can be able to answer it. So let's read the first question it says, sorry. You complete a standard that define how technology interact at different levels. So, of course, when you can understand the standard, it's basically it should be like protocols, contract, or even the agreement, but it should be not loud as how not as. So the answer will be protocols. It's just the standard that, that defined how technology interact at different levels such as should be having uh, so and remember we are, we are just learning introduction to network protocols so that should be the answer so for the second question it says the open system interconnection or osi reference model is a detailed requirement that documents how all computer systems interact when moving to textual data on the internet uh, and also may choose a, a government mandated technical specification required for any computer connecting to internet so remember we are just checking the question the open system interconnection or osi model so for the chat bill it says we just the answer is a general model used to describe how the visual Rears of technology manipulate data as it transferred from one place in the network to another. So it's just a general model. Just des describe. It's just here. It describes the various layers. So we do we do have different layers such as physical layer. Uh, also, let's check the, the last question that is. <clears throat> the top layer of the OSI model is called layer you complete the layer and control how software interact between the user and the less of layers. So the, the the first one is application layer. The application layer. So let's check and submit and we see. Boom. You got received a hundred percent. So congratulations. 